Hey there, I'm making dinner tonight and I have a recipe that I've done in the past and it's been a while since I've made it, but it's so yummy that I thought I would share it with you. It is a chicken nugget, but instead of breadcrumbs, it's going to be made with cornflakes. So stand by and we'll get started. I just got pixie pied, pixie dusted. <laughs> All right, I'm about to try one of these Dragon Balls. Oh, oh look at this, she is yeah! good! I am in a lean making class. First thing that we're going to do is set the oven to 450 degrees. And while that is heating up, we will prep everything that we need to prep. I have defrosted a package of chicken. These are three chicken breasts, but I'm going to be cutting them into strips. Okay, your ingredient list for this recipe is super duper easy and short. One egg, prepared mustard. I've decided to use Gouldens. You can also use uh, regular mustard or you can use Dijon. It just depends on the flavor that you want. And then you're going to need some honey. Obviously, the chicken that I showed you before. And you're going to need some cornflakes. I've got the bag right here. You're also going to want two bowls. One is going to be dipping with the egg mixture and the other one's going to be dipping with the cornflakes. You'll also want a baking sheet. I'm going to use my stone one that I like to use. Spray mine with a little bit of olive oil cooking spray so that nothing sticks. Okay, so in one of the bowls, you will crack the egg. You will use one tablespoon of the honey. Then you will need one teaspoon of the mustard. Get a fork or a whisk. I like to use a fork. And you're just going to mix all of that together until the egg is completely mixed up as if you were going to make a scrambled egg. It'll look something like this when it's all combined. All right, then in a separate bowl, you want two cups of your cornflakes. One. And two. And you want a little bit of pepper to give it some flavor for a dash, so I'm just going to grind just a little bit up in here. Now you want to smoosh all these down. You can either use your hands, you can even use the back of a measuring cup, or if you want to, you can put it into a sandwich bag and squish it with either like a back of a spoon or a rolling pin. I'm just going to do it all in one bowl. You basically want like a consistency of a breadcrumb. See right now it's a little too chunky, so I'll just keep mixing it up. So this is a good consistency. It's not as thick as and big as it was before. So I'm gonna set that aside. Now it's time to cut our chicken into strips. I'm sure you've all cooked before, but make sure that you're using either a glass. Uh, glass is actually the best for meats. Do not use wood because the wood will settle in there and then you can uh, get not, not get it clean and you don't want to get salmonella, so I always use glass when cutting my meats. Okay. Alright, so you start with your egg mixture. Give it a good wash just to get it damp. And then you're going to roll it in your flake mixture and then put it on your pan like so so I kind of ran out of cornflakes so I basically shoved everything in the same bowl just to make things go faster I'm just gonna add more cornflakes to the bowl I'm putting a lot in this bowl, but it's really not going to cover. It's only going to pick up some of it. 
I'm just going to toss it to make my life easier. I just want to get these in the oven at this point. And actually, it works just as well. It's just it's a little less time consuming. I just have so many pieces. See, they're all nicely coated. And just put them on your, your pan. So there's the whole tray I have right now, which we are now going to put into the oven. Put it in here. All right, looks good. And now we're gonna set the timer for 12 minutes and we'll check it after 12 minutes. Okay, I'll be back in 12 minutes. Okay. They were left in just a smidge a little longer than 12 minutes, kind of like 13 or 14. Uh, we checked all the pieces and they're pretty much registering at 165 to 168. So I'm going to plate them now. And the true test is whether or not my husband is enjoying them. So stay tuned. Do you like it? Tastes like chicken. Oh my gosh. So, but do you like it? Good. Is it a keeper? It's seasoning though. Like what kind of seasoning? Anything, there's no seasoning. Okay, well he thinks it needs more seasoning. So we'll work on that a little bit, but I'm gonna taste one. Mmm. That's really good. So that's a really mm. quick, easy recipe to do. If you, uh, have limited time and you just want to get it one and done. It's not that hard at all. So thank you for tuning into the Wonderful World of Wendy. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting that button below. Give me a thumbs up so other people can see it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.